towards the question answer. So if anybody wants to ask a question, just simply raise your hand and wait for your turn. Thank you. Okay, so uh, good morning. Um, Salam alaikum for everyone. Hope the fast is going okay for everybody. It is for me. I'm, I'm doing good. Um, great to be here again for, for uh, another World Cup qualifier. Um, and obviously, um, here in Pakistan, we will do our best to try to win the game uh, against a very difficult opponent. Um, I would like to congratulate uh, my friend, the, the, the coach for the Jordanian national team. Um, fantastic performance in the Asian Cup. Um, he, he has done an incredible job for them and um, uh, hopefully um, he doesn't continue to do a good job tomorrow and in the next few days against us. So, thank you. Open to questions. <coughs> That's a really good question. Um, I, I think in Pakistan for a long time uh, we have been trying to get into the uh, group stages, World Cup qualifiers, Asian Cup qualifiers, because we want to play against the best teams in Asia. Uh, and we certainly got that because uh, in our group, Saudi Arabia exited in the last 16. Tajikistan, who people weren't very convinced about, um, uh, were eliminated in the last eight. And we know Jordan went to the final of the Asian Cup. So in our group, we have three of the best teams in Asia. Um, and they will all be very difficult games. Um, there are no easy games for Pakistan, um, even in the South. They are not easy games for us. Uh, we are a team, I think, that uh, we are building. We are trying to build a new team, um, uh, new system, new philosophy. Uh, and there are going to be uh, games where we get beat, as we did uh, with uh, Saudi and Tajikistan. But uh, there are some good points. Uh, look at the game in Saudi. It's nine, 90 minutes. It should have been 2-1. Um, Farid scores the header, it's 2-1 after 15 minutes. Uh, we had one or two opportunities and with Tajikistan, you know, it, we had a really bad day. Uh, and so you're going to have this, uh, uh, these growth periods where we're going to be good one day, not so good the next day. But we need consistency and to have consistency we need regular games. So um, we had planned for a camp uh, in, uh, in January where we were going to go to Saudi Arabia and there were going to be three or four games, international games, friendlies, um, because a a as much as we can say how good we want to be, if we don't play games, uh, it's very difficult and, uh, and so this is the, the big problem. And then you go back to my usual uh, line, we need a league. Yes, we need a league where the players can play because if we don't have a league, they don't get games. If they don't get games, they don't get experience. Uh, and, and the circle goes on. So this is, for me, the biggest problem. Uh, and yeah, some of you, yeah, coach, but you knew that before you came. It's not an, I'm not using that excuse. I'm just telling you factually. And unfortunately, uh, when I say things like, I don't think we're going to go to the World Cup this time, some of you take that the wrong way. It's not uh, me being defeatist, it's me being a realist. My target, my target now, today, is to go to the Asian Cup. Okay? To do that, I need games. I need preparation camps. And the players that want to play. When that happens, I am going to take you to the Asian Cup like I did India. It took us four years to qualify for the Asian Cup. Four years. We did it. Can we do it here? Yeah. If we have games for our players, if we have camps for our players, coaching, it doesn't happen overnight, but you've got to understand it's a process. So that's it. Okay, I think I spoke too much. <laughs> Are you satisfied Pakistani player game? Pakistani? When you say game, I don't understand. You mean game when they play with us? We've we, we got a chance here. Um, Farid scores the header, I think it was 1-0 at the time. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. It puts a little bit more pressure on them. Um, so, yeah, but we lack experience. 
Um, and we didn't play very well with Tajikistan and, and we saw what happened. So hopefully we will avoid this tomorrow. Um, I think the guys are a little bit more vo motivated. Every camp that we have, we become a little bit better and that's why we need more camps, more games. Steve, this is Shafiq Radha from APP. Uh, Salaam alaikum. That's a good question. Look, I, I, honestly, I'm not looking at the World Cup. If you see what you need to go to the World Cup, and teams who are in a much better position than us are not going to World Cups, we focus, for me, let's qualify for the Asian Cup on a regular basis. And this is what I said to them in India. You've been to two Asian Cups, both of them were invitational. When we qualified in 2015, it took us two and a half years to qualify for this. So we've got to focus on dominating the SAF region and then qualifying for the Asian Cup. If we are consistent in that, so every, the Asian Cup I think is every three years, no? If we are continuously one year, two years, three years, look at the teams that qualified for the World Cup from Asia. Same six, seven teams, Australia, Iran, South Korea, Japan, Saudi, same five, six, why? Because they have professional leagues, they're consistently qualifying for, for Asian Cups, they have experience behind under 23s, under 19s, and at the moment we don't have that, that, that sort of capacity, so, um, but Rome, Rome, Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, we're going to park a double-decker bus in front of the goal, like that. <laughs> Look, um, to answer your first question, I am only going to talk about players that are here, okay? I have about 50 names, diaspora players, who say they are interested to come and play for Pakistan, okay? Saying you want to play for Pakistan, and coming to play for Pakistan is two different things. Uh, it's a long process. And some of the guys that I have spoken to have told me, well, you know, if this happens, if that happens, you know what? You stay home and when you're ready, let me know. So right now I'm only going to focus on the boys that are here because they have done the legwork to be here. Okay? Thank you. Finished? Yeah. Brilliant question. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so here's the deal. If I could have 26 players every week for the next year, I wouldn't change any of them because of that reason. Okay, um, but it's international football. Uh, we don't get that. We don't get time. We get 10 days. Uh, you know, when the diaspora players came the day before yesterday, they trained yesterday, they were trained today. And play tomorrow. Um, and if there are new players in that team, it, it's, it's, it's a problem, especially because we don't get other games, international games. So, um, yes, it's, it's, uh, it's very important. I um, would love to put a Pakistan national team in the Saudi league and use that as a club and then add diaspora players to them. Those boys will have games, they will have experience, they will be training every day, they will be uh, um, 
GPS, they will be everything. Uh, we can't do that at the moment. So. Got uh, one question for you. No microphone for you. Uh, how how do you would define a good professional coach from the raw coach? Okay, we have considered six goals, six runs against Tajikistan. Mm. So uh, everybody, everybody knows you. You are a professional coach. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not sure I like where this is going, but... If, if we are having a rough coach, do you think we would have considered the uh, same 10 um, Interesting question. Look, um, I, I, I can't, I, I, I'm not quite sure how to answer you. It is, um, if you had a raw coach, maybe you win. Who knows? Um, I think uh, with Tajikistan was a bad day for us. We didn't do um, the right thing. And I, and I know some people are going to say, oh, you know, but um, the team is not... <clears throat> In that game, we had seven diaspora players started the game. And they supposedly have the more experience than our players, more games, more training, more stuff. Why no one says that? Seven diaspora players started that game. So I don't know if it's to do with uh, a raw coach or a bad coach. Um, I think it's more to do with preparation, time, um, and we don't get enough time. So. Nice question, though. Okay, last question. Well, coach, looking at the resources of the administration, do you think that Pakistan team is capable of playing the big games in future? Well, whether we like it or not, we are playing the big games in the future because we're, we're going to play uh, Jordan twice, uh, and then we play Saudi, and then we play Tajikistan, and then you have uh, Asian Cup qualifiers September, October, November. So, yeah, um, we have no choice. We have to uh, try to manage with the resources that we have. Uh, I understand they are not the best. Um, but we have to start somewhere. We cannot, uh, Pakistan cannot be in the wilderness of football in Asia with a population of 250 million. And the reaction of the people here, um, I have traveled to many countries in the world, I never saw that kind of reaction um, to the win against Cambodia. So the love of the game is here in Pakistan for football. Uh, we, we, we now need to ignite it. Uh, I had hoped that, um, all concerned parties above me um, had noticed what a reaction it was for the whole country, not inside and outside Pakistan. Um, uh, and we need to do something if we want our football to progress. I mean, football brings people together. Um, it unites people, countries, and religions and everything. So um, I, I think that the powers that be should start thinking about football as a way of um, Betterment for, in, for Pakistan players and the Pakistan uh, um, international scene. It's, it's a win win. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the guy sitting next to, to the head coach will be the translator. So, first of all, Al Hussain Al Muta. Al Hussain Al Muta. So first of all, he will make an opening statement. Then the guy sitting next to the head coach will translate, and then we will go towards the question answers. And we'll start with the. Okay. We'll start with the word. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. السلام عليكم طبعا بالنسبه لنا احنا كمنتخب اردني المقابله جدا مهمه بالنسبه لنا باعتبار انه عندنا طموح كبير اننا 
نتاهلوا للدور المقبل من تصفيات كاس العالم وبالتالي انا اعتقد انها مقابله ستكون صعبه وفي في نفس الوقت مهمه بالنسبه لنا والضغط يمكن اكبر سيكون يمكن على المنتخب الاردني اكثر منه على المنتخب الباكستاني هلو ايفريبادي هلو هلو ايفريبادي As uh, Captain Hassan Amunda said, this is going to be a very important match for the Jordan national team in order for us to make it to the next round of the qualification match. أظن أن المقابلة تختلف تختلف يعني ما قدمه المنتخب الأردني في كأس أمم آسيا يختلف عن تصفيات كأس العالم وطبعا يعني كل مقابلة لها ظروفها ظروفها لا من ناحية المكان أو الزمان هذه مقابلة يعني مغايرة تماما وبالتالي أنا أعتقد أنه ستكون مقابلة يعني صعبة صعبة جدا أمام المنتخب الباكستاني ويجب على المنتخب الأردني أن يقف أن 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 يقوم بمجهودات يعني كثيرة وكبيرة جدا على أساس أنه يفوز بالمقابلة. Every match we have to play has its own circumstances in terms of when and where it's played. Obviously, this is going to be a very important and hard game for Jordan, and we're hoping the team can stay in the next level and close in the Asian Cup. هو طبعا ليست يعني بانتقال زائده ولكن احنا انتظرنا ان يلتحق جميع اللاعبين المعسكر اللي كان داخل في الارض على اساس اننا ننتقل يعني بالمجموعه الكامله فقط لكن انا اعتقد ان مقابله امام باكستان ستكون مقابله صعبه وصعبه جدا Um, no, it's not about having very high confidence. We were just waiting for the players playing on Raw for all of them to come so we can be a full team when we are at Kassa. So you are uh, at the moment in Group G, you are second from the bottom. Is that right or third? Third, third. You are third at yeah. this part of time after two wins. Yeah. Do you think you can still make it to the top? اكيد اكيد احنا عندنا ثقه عندنا ثقه في المجموعه على اساس اننا قادرين اننا على الاقل نلتحق بالمركز الثاني او الاول طبعا هذا كيطلب منا واحد المجهود اللي هو كبير وتركيز كبير طبعا حنايا من خلال يعني المشاركه ديالنا في كاس اسيا اكتسبنا الثقه الثقه ما بين اللاعبين انفسهم ما بين اللاعبين والمدربين وتنظر اننا سنبني يعني ما تبقى من المقابلات الاربع مقابلات اللي هي متبقيه على اساس انه تكون عندنا ثقه كبيره وتكون عندنا عزيمه اكثر ولكن في الاخير يجب ان نبذل يعني المجهود الكبير المجهود الكبير على اساس اننا نفوز في المقابلات واننا يعني نتواجد في الدور المقبل. <تصفيق> Uh, we have four upcoming matches and we're hoping with them we can make it to first or second. We're going to build in the style and confidence we have in the Asian Cup to ensure we qualify for the next round. مش مزيان نقول لك اول شيء شو رايك في باكستان لبلد كيف شعور اخوان ثاني شيء ايش رايك المباراه راح تكون سهله ولا صعبه ولا قويه طبعا يعني مع الاسف اننا وصلنا يوم امس متاخرين بالليل لانه كان تاخر ديال الطائره تقريبا ثلاث ساعات وبالتالي يعني صح صرنا وصلنا الساعه 11 بالليل 11 ونص يعني من المطار للفندق طبعا دائما تبقى باكستان بلد يعني صديق وحبيب 
وطبعا من اجمل البلدان اللي هي موجوده يعني في العالم وطبعا انا اول حاجه كمغربي اول حاجه كمغربي وحنا يعني كمنتخب او كبلد اللي هو الاردن تجمع لنا يعني علاقات اول حاجه ديال الدين اللي هي مهمه جدا وطبعا نحن يعني كل احترام للبلد اللي هو باكستان طبعا المقابله ستكون صعبه مقابله صعبه لا توجد مقابله تكون القدم اللي هي سهله طبعا لدى دائما نتيجة المقابلة يعني عندها علاقة بالمجهود الذي يقوم به الفريق لا من ناحية التقنية والتكتيكية ولا البدنية ولا الدينية إذا ما أردنا أن نفوز بالمقابلة يجب أن نبدو يعني واحد المجهود أكبر من اللاعبين ديال المنتخب الباكستاني <تصفيق> شكرا شكرا على الاحساس ديالك الطيب طبعا احنا مع الاسف انه يعني المجموعه ديال اللاعبين يعني ما اجتمعت الا يوم امس يوم امس عاد يعني اكتمل المجموعه ديالنا وبالتالي انتقلنا بسرعه طبعا نحن سنبني في تحضير المقابله على 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 الثقه اللي اكتسبناها من خلال يعني تواجدنا بكاس اسيا طبعا اللاعبين ولا الجهاز الفني الكل يعني حاس بالمسؤوليه عليه على اساس انه هذه مقابله بالنسبه لنا حنايا مصيريه يعني يجب ان نفوز بالمقابله وبالتالي انا قلت قبل قليل انه الضغط موجود اكثر على المنتخب يعني الاردني طبعا احنا تعودنا تعودنا اننا نلعب تحت الضغط تنتمنى انه الارضيه الملعب تساعد على انه الجو يساعد ايضا على اساس انه المقابله يعني تلعب بعد الظهر لكن احنا رغم هذه الظروف ان شاء الله سنقوم بمقابله ان شاء الله ستكون يعني جيده والبحث على ثلاث نقاط ديال الفوز. <تصفيق> انا اعتقد انه المقابله تختلف يعني كل مقابله لها ظروفها الخاصه طبعا نوعيه اللاعبين او الطريقه اللي كيلعب بها الفريق الباكستاني مختلفه على يعني ما قدمناه او المنتخبات اللي لعبناها في كاس اسيا انا اعتقد انه يجب ان نحترم المنتخب الباكستاني يجب ان نحترم الامكانيات اللي موجوده عند اللاعبين وان نبذل يعني المجهودات اللي هي مطلوبه في كل مقابله على اساس اننا نفوزوا في المقابله طبعا كل احترام لكن هناك ضغط علينا احنا كبير على اساس اننا نفوزوا في المقابله Of course, every game uh, in football is different than any other game. The Pakistani team is different strategically to any team who played in, in Qatar. Of course, us as a German team, we have massive respect for your team and the players, and we will ensure that we put all the needed effort to get the points we want from this game.
موسى موسى التعميري موجود معنا طبعا يعني من اللاعبين المميزين صحيح و طبعا نحن دائما ما نساند اي اي لاعب اي لاعب عربي مسلم يعني يجتهد ويتميز يعني في الدوريات يعني الاوروبيه الكبيره كنا يعني كنساندو وتنحبوه تنتمنى انه اليوم الغد يكون يعني تا في الموعد ديالو انه يقدم يعني مقابله يعني مطلوبه ويساعد الفريق ديالو على الفوز اول حاجه وتنتمنى انه الجمهور الجمهور الباكستاني يعني الحاضر انه يستمتع في المقابله مقابله يعني ما بين اخوه مسلمين وان شاء الله تكون يعني الروح الرياضيه حاضره والفائز سنهنئه في 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 اخر المقابله أنا أعتقد أنه الكرة الكرة إجمالا يعني في آسيا تطورت بشكل يعني ملموس ملموس يعني ما قابت ما قابت به يعني البلدان مثل كوريا اليابان صحيح يعني التجارب اللي هي ناجحه جدا طبعا بالنسبه لباكستان صحيح انا كنعرف على انه كره القدم ليست الرياضه الاولى اظن الكريكيت الكريكيت هي الاولى فيرست فيرست سبور هي الكريكيت يعني انا اعتقد انه يجب يجب على الـ على الـ على الـ على, الـ على المسؤولين وعلى الـ على الرياضه خاصه يمكن وزاره الشباب او الرياضه انها تستثمر يعني في اول حاجه في تهيئه الملاعب بنعضل اول حاجه الملاعب 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 القرب اوكي اللي كتكون قريبه من الاحياء الشعبيه على اساس انه يكون هناك يعني ممارسه يوميه لكره القدم اظن الاستثمار من ناحيه حتى الماديه يعني مسانده يعني الانديه والمنتخبات وتنظم انه في ظرف 10 15 سنه 20 سنه ممكن انه يكون منتخب باكستاني قوي اللي ممكن انه ينافس في في الدوريات يعني القاريه والعالميه. Uh, however, um, uh, we believe if the right people in place, the people in charge of Pakistan football, the people in charge of the country, need to invest a lot of money and effort to ensure the best pitches, the best investment opportunities. So in the next 10, 20 years, Pakistan football will reach the level you guys are expecting it to reach. And also to ensure that you have the correct uh, development programs and the correct coaches in place to reach that level in football. Last question. And tell us please uh, something about uh, uh, football players in your country, in Jordan, after you reach the final, after you defeated uh, the best team in Asia and made it to the final. Now, uh, do you think? Uh, Football in Jordan is now the most favorite game. Our tennis still is there. This is a difficult question. I think that in the Florida, meaning the sport of the game, meaning the game, is suffering from the limitations. Okay. But with this success that we achieved, meaning after a period of time. 
أن نظن أنه المسؤولين في الأردن يعني بدأوا يعني في الاستثمار في كرة القدم وكانت من أنه يعني ليكون الاهتمام كيف ما قلنا يعني بالملاعب اللي كنت قبل قليل الملاعب تكوين المدربين وطبعا يعني التعامل بطريقة احترافية احترافية لا في الأندية ولا في المنتخبات تظن أنا يعني هذه هي الشروط الثلاثة اللي كتخلي أنه كرة القدم تكون في أي بلد تكون يعني متطورة فوتبول ديسايد شركة تاسيس بناء جوي للفوتبول ويلي فوتبول استند نميز سبور as we talked about before in our episode we just need to invest directly in our infrastructure and in our coaches to ensure football joy to keep that high level of football in our country obviously our results in Asia have made a difference so accordingly we have to continue Thank you so much. Thank you very much.